Hey, what's up, y'all? Back with another Inside of Ties. And every Friday, I like to give you guys some really good information. And this week, I'm going to start off light, and then I'm going to get into something that's really for the sneakerhead to boss series to establish the importance of you guys following your dreams. So the best thing about this week's Inside of Ties is that I'm going to tell you a story that's not a story. It's all fact, and it just happened yesterday that more than likely no one else in the sneaker community is talking about because... They only talk about what something looks like. What I want you guys to have is an opportunity to get into the business or if you love sneakers as much as I do to get jobs in the business. And the only way that happens is if you keep up on the stories that kind of shape the way the sneaker community is actually going to move. So you have to think about this kind of stuff. So the first lighthearted thing that we'll get into is going to be real easy and that's going to be my top 20 sneakers of 2018. I won't count it down. I'll go ahead and put the um, link right here and I'll put it in the description so you can click through and check it out. And there aren't very many retros on my list. So don't think that my list is going to look like every other website that you've seen because my list, and you'll see down here, it gives you all of the details from 20 to one is a completely different list than anything that you've ever seen. So like if you click on number 20 on my list, you're going to get the Saucony Oktoberfest. In my book, this shoe has a story, it has great materials, it's fresh, and it's something that everybody's not going to be walking around wearing. Funny enough, somebody was like, how can you do a list and you didn't put the Black Seaman 3 in the Concord? I've seen that shoe for 20, 30 years. I don't care about that shoe anymore. I know everybody else does and you guys that are new to it, you're all over it. But to me, that's not innovative and that's not fresh. That's not like material. It's not a shoe that really stands out because everybody's got it. So you kind of get the point of what I'm saying here. Now, let's get into the serious stuff. Yesterday, right? Foot Locker invested into a company named Superheroic. Now, if you've never heard of Superheroic, I've written several articles on the website about Superheroic. Former Jordan brand Nike designer Jason Maiden started a company built around getting kids off of the couch so they could start playing. Now, there's a lot of you guys out there, man. You work, you're working on like sketches and you're doing T-shirts and you're making these clothes. And in your head, you're saying to yourself, man, I'm never going to make it. Nobody's going to care. Here's a guy that made shoes for kids. He designed the shoes. And what he said was he was going to put in a system where the people who buy the shoes were going to have the ability to uh, interact with other kids. He is trying to set up a community of active kids. He found a problem. Kids sitting on the computer, and video games all day. And the solution to the problem was to create footwear and an app that parents and the kids could use to find different activities and to engage in different activities. But what's important about this? Yesterday, Foot Locker invested in the company to the tune of three million dollars that's a small business something that never existed five years ago it was just an idea in somebody's mind Foot Locker invested into this company and it's extremely important because if Foot Locker is doing this and they're investing into small shoe companies what makes you think that they won't see the benefit of your t-shirt company that solves a problem you might be the next big investment. That's the way the sneaker community has to start thinking. And that's what I'm trying to get you guys to look at with these insider ties. It's not just about the sneaker things, man. It's about the sneaker business. Hopefully you guys appreciate this information. The article for Jason Maiden and Foot Locker and why it's important. The article is right here. You can click on it. It's going to be in the description. Go through the website. Look at the project uh, plus exec post on the website because you'll start getting a picture of what type of jobs are available for you out there. Now, I was gonna give you some job listings and things like that, but I don't want this to run too long. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Um, end of this video. So what am I going to do? I got uh, 11, 10 and a half, 11, five. I think about it, I may do something next week. So pay attention, keep following. I appreciate everybody out there. No giveaways this week. I think about it next week. Maybe I'll drop in and do another video. See you guys later. Peace.